This is Top Accolade African News Update. I am Soi Bifa Jagaric. Nollywood actor Junior Pope Odonwudo, popularly known as Junior Pope, has died in a boat accident while traveling to film a movie in Nigeria's Delta State, his fellow actors have said. The film star was earlier reported to have survived the accident when doctors attempted to resuscitate him in a hospital. It is so sad that our joy was short-lived. Two notable hospitals tried their best to revive him, but to no avail. We finally lost him. Emeka Rolas, AJCA, the president of the actor Guild of Nigeria, EGN posted on Facebook. Videos shared on social media showed rescuers carrying the actor, who appeared unconscious out of River Niger, where the incident happened late Wednesday. As before the incident, the 39-year-old actor had shared a video of him and four others on his Instagram page traveling to the movie location on the boats. He was heard expressing concern about the lack of safety measures and praying for a safe journey. Junior Pope has acted in more than 150 Nollywood movies and is best known for playing roles of criminal, villain, a bodyguard, and a hitman. Fellow actors have taken to social media to mourn him. Nollywood is still reeling from the loss of two other industry stars, John Okafo, better known as Mr. Ibo, and Amechi Munaga. The Johannesburg High Court has postponed the hearing of a bid by South Africa's former president, Jacob Zuma's, to privately prosecute current leader, Cyril Ramaphosa. The court on Thursday adjourned the case to 6 August. Mr. Zuma is seeking to prosecute President Ramaphosa for failing to act against prosecutor Billy Downer and journalist Karen Morgan for allegedly disclosing his medical details, which were contained in court documents during his corruption trial. The former president argues that the alleged leak was in violation of the law. Last year, President Ramaphosa successfully asked the court to block the prosecution. Mr. Zuma then challenged the decision at the Supreme Court of Appeal, but he was dismissed. With the court arguing with the prosecution of the president would be unlawful and unconstitutional, Mr. Zuma is seeking to overturn that court decision, which would allow him to pursue legal action against his successor. Nigeria's drug regulator has recalled a badge of Johnson & Johnson children's cough syrup after tests showed it contained an unacceptable high level of toxicity and potentially fatal substance. The substance, diethylene glycol, was found to cause acute oral toxicity in laboratory animals. Nigeria's National Agency for Food and Drugs Administration and Control, NAFDA, said on Wednesday. It added that human consumption of the diethylene glycol resulted results in toxic effects including abdominal pain, vomiting, diarrhea, inability to pass urine, headache, altered mental state and acute kidney injury which may lead death. The substance has been linked to the recent deaths of dozens of children in Cameroon and the Gambia. Laboratory tests on the recalled Benlin pediatric syrup also show that it caused acute oral toxicity in laboratory animals, the regulator said. Neither Johnson & Johnson nor Kenview, which owns the Berlin brand after becoming independent from Johnson & Johnson last year, have commented on the NAFDAQ statement. The syrup was manufactured in South Africa in May 2020 and had an expiring date of April 2024. The syrup's packaging says it can be used for relieving cough and congestive symptoms and for treating the fever and other allergic conditions among children aged between 2 and 12 years. The ruling military junta in Mali has suspended all political activities in the country until further notice. A spokesman, Colonel Abdoulaye Mega, said the suspension was motivated by what he called sterile discussions during an attempt at national dialogue earlier this year. He said all activities by political parties and associations of a political nature have been suspended on the grounds of maintaining public order in a statement on state television. More than 80 political parties and civil groups recently called for president elections as soon as possible and an end of military rule. Mali has been ruled by the military since 2022 following a coup. The Johnson said presidential elections would be held in February but they were postponed sparking outrage among political groups. 
that is the size of top accolade african news updates you can follow us on our social media platforms as displayed on your screen happy test day